A very common misconception is that 3D artists and sculptors have a better understanding of 3D form than a 2D artist would. This can't be further from the truth, and I will explain why. Now, while I go over this, I'll sculpt 02 from Darling in the Franks in the background. Anyways, I had a friend who had a very good understanding of anatomy. His sculpting skills were truly impressive, but he couldn't even draw if his life depended on it. Sounds familiar? That's right, you ain't alone. Many sculptors should be able to relate to this. I know I do. I myself learned how to sculpt before I started drawing, so I get that initial frustration. Now this got me curious, why is it that sculptors generally can't draw even though we work with 3D forms? Not only that, if you think of it, both sculpting and drawing require very similar skills. Things like learning the fundamentals of art, improving your observational skills, learning shape language, etc. etc. Both benefit and require all of the above and even more. So, what makes these two mediums different despite all of the similarities I just mentioned? This is the key of understanding why sculptors are generally bad at drawing. As a sculptor who learned how to draw in the past two years, I can now give you a logical explanation on what makes them so different. Understanding these differences will help you not only understand why you might not be able to draw, but also how to start learning, as drawing can be extremely beneficial for your sculpting skills in many many ways. Trust me, it really helped me out. So anyways, the first fundamental difference between them is perspective. I don't know if this is surprising for you guys or not, but even though it's so obvious, it, it didn't hit me until I started drawing for a while. For drawing, it is more or less indispensable to understand perspective. Without a strong grasp of it, you can only do so much when drawing. I mean, imagine trying to draw without perspective. You, you really can't do much, honestly. Just try to draw. And, you know, without any understanding of perspective, you won't be able to build anything from nothing. It gets complicated. So anyways, Sculpting, on the other hand, is forgiving in that aspect. Perspective, it's pretty much figured out for you. This isn't to say that sculptors won't benefit from a good understanding of perspective, because you will. It just isn't that essential for sculpting. Remember how I said a common misconception is that 3D artists have a better understanding of 3D form than a 2D artist would? Well, it is precisely because 3D programs deal with perspective for us that we don't properly learn form. At least, you know, generally speaking. A quick analogy would be squatting with a lower back belt. Sure, a weightlifting belt will help you better support your back and core while performing a squat, allowing you to push, you know, heavier weights. However, if you rely too much on the support, you won't build your core enough to push these weights safely when you're not using the belt. Hopefully that makes sense to you. It, it really applies for sculptors as well. If you're not practicing you know, perspective, if you don't understand perspective, then when you don't have the program to deal for that for you, when you try to draw with a paper from nothing, you're gonna have a hard time. So it makes sense that sculptors generally can't just start drawing without actually learning these fundamentals that are not as essential for sculptors, you know, to sculpt. Anyways, this is why a sculptor will have a hard time drawing when they have to deal with perspective themselves on a piece of paper. That said, even if you don't know perspective, you can still learn form, which is essential for sculptors. Traditional sculptors especially benefit from this most as you actually touch and feel the form of whatever you're sculpting. Digital sculpting, sadly, it lacks that part, so you have to pay extra attention to this to improve, otherwise you will only push and pull shapes till you get something that looks right. That's something I actually see quite often and something I've done myself for a very long time till I consciously decided to change that. So, you know, that's why many digital sculptors don't have a good grasp of form and depth. Another difference in skill required between drawing and sculpting is dexterity. Things like how you can draw lines, circles, curves, etc. Sculpting won't require the same level of dexterity to get the job done. That said, a certain level of dexterity for sculpting is important nonetheless, especially for traditional sculpting. How you apply the clay, how to control your sculpting tools, all of that matters. As you can see, even though there are many similarities in the skills required between the 3D and the 2D world, the importance of these skills might vary. There are other differences between drawing and sculpting, but I feel like 
the main reason sculptors have a hard time drawing is because of these two reasons, perspective and dexterity. Of course, both of these things can be learned, so in reality, once you get the hang of both, then you'll be able to transfer your knowledge acquired as a sculptor to drawing and eventually vice versa. This whole discussion is obviously based on my perspective of the subject. This is not to say that every 2D artist has a better understanding of form than every digital sculptor, and vice versa. It all depends on how you approach and think of things. This is only to say that from my personal experience and from what I observed of artists around me and on the internet, I came to these conclusions. Remember though, this isn't just about understanding why sculptors can't generally draw, you know, that's fun and all, but this is also to help you change the way you approach things. If you tried drawing before and gave up right away, then maybe what I explained will motivate you to give it another go. Again, drawing helped my sculpts in a great deal, so it definitely has many benefits even for sculptors. That said, even if drawing is something you are truly not interested in learning and, you know, you would like to dedicate all of your time for sculpting, then this is also a valid way of practicing, there is nothing wrong with that. Just try to pay attention to the points I made. You can learn perspective, pay more attention to form and depth without necessarily drawing. But of course, if you ask my personal opinion, I do advise you to learn how to draw. Anyways. I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts on all of this. You know, which points did you agree on? Which did you disagree on? Maybe you have your own points, your own perspective, your own ideas on this. Just share it in the comment section below. Oh, also, if you're interested in knowing how drawing can help your sculpting, I definitely have a lot to share on that. So I can cover that topic in another video. Just let me know in the comment section below. Oh, and what other art related topics would you like me to cover in future videos? Let me know below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends, and if you want to watch more fun and educational videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get notified when new videos come out. See you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome character sculpts and art related videos. You can also check out my store for full courses on character sculpting, texturing, materials, brushes and more. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video then you will definitely enjoy the next one.